Greetings writers, it's Mr. Hebda from the Lackawanna College Writing Center and today I'd like to share with you some tips on how to set up your APA 7 style paper using the four major parts of the paper that we discussed in a previous video. So please be sure to check out that video uh, if you haven't done so already. It's in our APA 7 playlist on the Lackawanna College Writing Center YouTube channel. But I want to especially focus on the references page here today and how to set that up. However, first off, I want to give you a quick disclaimer here. I'm going to show you how to set up or format the references page. I'm not going to show you how to actually do each type of citation. I'm going to set up separate small videos called Cite Bytes that are going to cover specific sources like YouTube videos or web pages, things like that. All right, let's dive into our first example with Microsoft Word. All right, so this example should look pretty familiar to you um, from a previous video. Um, I'll do my best to link the video in the description below. If you haven't seen our video on how to make title pages uh, using Google Docs or Microsoft Word, we'll start off here with Microsoft Word. This is the title page that we made together. So that's the first section of our paper already set up and formatted. Now, how do we get the other sections formatted and ready to go? Well, it's pretty simple. We click right, right, after the, uh, right after the due date, hit the Enter key, so we space down, and we'll go up to the toolbar here and click on Insert. And we want to hit Page Break. Okay. So notice it already carries over our running head, our title there, and our page number, which is excellent. Um, we programmed that earlier. So check out the other video to see how that's done. So APA likes bolded titles. So, so we're going to need to make sure we have bold text here. And this will be our second part of our essay called The Abstract, which technically is not required for a student paper. But I know that a lot of the instructors here at Lackawanna College uh, in psychology do want students to get practice using this more professional style. So hopefully I'll be able to cover more about The Abstract in a future video. For now, we'll just set this page aside, and this will be our abstract page. Now we'll insert another page break where we can set up our main body page. So the main body in a student paper would be kicked off, and I think also in a professional paper, will be kicked off by the essay title in bold. Okay. So here again, we just you know space down, hit page break. Now we're on to our last section. This would be our references page. Or if you just have one, one source, it would be called reference. But I'm assuming you have more than one source. So here's where things get a little different. So we'll hit that Enter key. We'll drop down. But it's, here you want to get rid of the bold text. No more bold. And you want to left align your text. So your cursor is over here on the left. And this is the most important part. Is make sure that your paragraph um, settings are set to, of course, be double spaced with no additional points of spacing. Um, but also under special, make sure that you have a hanging indentation, special hanging indent. Okay, that'll save you a lot of time when you go to insert your citations uh, that we'll do in future videos. All right, so that pretty much sums it up for how to set up the basic elements of your paper, the four different elements, four parts in Word. Let's check out how to do that in Google Docs. It's very similar. All right, everyone, so here we are in Google Docs. Um, as you see, this is our title page that we set up together, and we follow a very similar process here that we did with Word. We'll hit our cursor right after uh, the due date, hit the, hit the Enter key. Again, we go to Insert, but this time it's a little different. We have to go down to Break. We kind of hover over Break with our cursor, and a pop-up window will come up that says Page Break. That's where we'll click Page Break. So notice again, it carries over our running head and our page number just like we want. Remember to bold your title in APA. They like it bold. So we'll have our abstract page here. Right, we'll drop down the enter key. We'll go through the process again. We'll insert another page break. Okay. And then here is where we'll put the main body which will be kicked off with the essay title. Okay. So that would be the third section of the paper. Then we will insert another page break. 
And this will be where our reference is made. And here it's a little different with the format. So remember, we don't want it to be bold text anymore. We want to make sure that we have left alignment. Cool. And now we want our hanging indent. And that's a little different. You access that differently in uh, Google Docs. So you click on formatting, go to align and indent, hover over that, and you'll see on this pop-up window on the right, there's an indentation options available. So click on that. And under special indent, there's a drop down box where you click on hanging and apply that. There you go. Your Google Doc is all set up for your citations. So that's how you do it in Google Docs. All right, to wrap up, everybody, I just wanted to share with you uh, Purdue University's online writing lab. Um, they're my source for all my information, and I highly recommend you check them out as well. They've got some great information there, um, both MLA and APA formatting. And of course, I always wanted to, I also want to pitch the Lackawanna College Writing Center YouTube channel. Um, and if you need help, we're always available for appointments too here at the Writing Center. So feel free to reach out to us. We're always here to see you succeed. Keep up the great writing, everyone. Mr. Hebda out.